guys, this is Kins, and welcome to this video. Um, in this video, I'm basically just going to be showing you guys my basic watercolor supplies. Um, this is just what I use. That doesn't mean that it's the best thing to use or that you should use them. I'm just giving you guys an idea on how I do my artwork. So the first thing I use is some pins, and these are microns and prisma colors. They come in all kinds of sizes. Um, the smaller the number, the smaller the line. And the bigger the number, the thicker and bigger the line. Um, so this is a Micron, and it's currently my favorite. It's just because it's got a really small tip, which is really good for detailed work. Um, this is also a Prismacolor, and I really like this right now because the tip is uh, really good at filling in things, and it has just a little point on the end, so it's also good at doing some detailed stuff. So you don't have to use pens and inking your watercolor. You don't even have to ink your watercolor. Some people just use pen and some people don't use any outlines at all. This is just what I do. So um, just do whatever works best for you and how you like your artwork to turn out. So the next thing up is actually watercolor, which I guess would be the most important thing. Um, you can use watercolor in tubes or watercolors in these hard little palettes. Um, this is actually what I use um, just because I'm used to it and I end up liking it. I like mixing the colors. I think the colors are a little more vibrant, but that's just a personal opinion. So um, I got this little bitty watercolor palette, I think from Walmart when I first got into watercolor. And I would actually recommend this because if you end up not liking watercolor, then you don't want to get a huge set and find out you don't like it. So after I found out that I loved watercolor, I got this Lindsay Newton watercolor palette. I think I got this from Amazon. Um, I would fully recommend this watercolor palette. I really like all the colors that it has. It has a very good variety and a lot of room for mixing paint. So it gives you these little palettes on the sides and stuff, which makes it really, really nice. So next thing up, I guess, would be brushes. I just use whatever I have around. I think I got these watercolor brushes from Michaels. Um, you're just going to get whatever you pay for, so if you buy expensive brushes, then it's going to look really nice. Um, next things next is just water for your watercolor. Um, I just use this simple mason jar. You can basically use anything. I just like using something glass because it's easy to clean up. So I get a lot of questions on what kind of gel pens or pens I use for highlights. I actually right now am using this Jelly Roll white gel pen. Um, I find out it works really good, especially for the price because it's not very expensive. I just got this at Amazon and it works really good for my little bitty detailed highlights that I do on my watercolors. So I also use these painters for highlights and they work really nice for thicker highlights, I guess, when I don't want to use a gel pen to fill in this huge area for a highlight. So it's just basically acrylic paint in this little tube or pen. They come in all kinds of shapes and sizes and different tips. This white one I probably use the most because I mostly do white highlights. They also come in these pretty cool metallic colors. Which is cool because you can't because you can't really get this metallic color from your watercolors. So it's really fun just to use that. Next thing up is a watercolor palette, which you don't need to use this. But I like to just because it gives me more, more room when I'm mixing paint and stuff. I don't have to continuously clean the same ones. I think I just got this from Michaels and they come in all shapes and sizes so just get what works best for you. Watercolor paper. So I found out that all kinds of watercolor paper works good. It's just basically what you're used to. 
Um, I got this Canson watercolor paper, I think one from, I think from Michaels. Um, it works really good. I like it because it's real thick and durable. It doesn't warp or tear if you're racing on it or after you get it so wet it doesn't start crinkling up. For sure when you're doing watercolor you will need watercolor paper. That is like the number one thing because if you're using other paper then it won't take well. So next if you're wanting to finish off your paintings you can get some uh, acrylic sealer. Uh, this is just what I use. It's really cheap, I think, from Walmart. And I just spray it on my paintings and it keeps it from fading or getting hurt. It just gives it a little bit more protection. So the first thing that I did when I did highlights was used simple acrylic paint. And I just dip a brush in here and do my highlights that way. It kind of gives you a little more freedom to do whatever you want with your highlights. And I actually like this technique the best. I know this sounds weird, but I actually use a toothbrush for some of my texturing on my paintings. There's all kinds of texturing techniques there. You can use salt, uh, sponges, whatever you want. Thank you so much for watching this video and please give it a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't already.